Located in eastern Utah, Moab is a popular resort community that is experiencing a boom in residents, thrill seekers, and annual visitors. Bordered by the Colorado River and the scenic vistas of the Colorado Plateau, Moab is surrounded by national parks and is a key tourist destination for tens of thousands of travelers from all over the world. Rapid population growth and increased tourism put a major strain on Moab's aging wastewater treatment plant, originally built in the 1950s. The city needed a new, modern system that provided both efficiency and cost savings. Well, the original plant was a mechanical plant. Um, uh, we used rock media trickling filters for biological removal. Uh, it had grown to 60 years old. We had reached capacity before I even started for the city 17 years ago, and all I could do was try to keep it near compliance. The city here uh, receives a lot of tourists, so they, during the summertime they get a large influx of flow to their treatment plant, and their existing treatment plant was having a hard time meeting that flow and load. That led us to Alabama to look at three aqua plants that were all operating correctly and efficiently. After we saw how aqua plants ran, uh, it was unanimous. Uh, we want to go with aqua. We looked at various technologies. We looked at multi-stage oxidation ditches. We looked at a membrane bioreactor, uh, including the sequencing batch reactors. We also looked at just a conventional activated sludge process. And due to the varying loads that come into the treatment plant, the tight location that they had, it was quickly determined that a sequencing batch reactor was the best option for the city of Moab. In 2018, the city of Moab commissioned the new Aqua SBR sequencing batch reactor system, which was a revolutionary change for the entire region with its ability to treat varying loads and flows while significantly reducing water usage. This is the first SBR plant in the state of Utah. The numbers it's producing have garnered a lot of attention. One of the unique things about this treatment plant is that it receives septage from the national parks. There's several national parks and lots of campgrounds up in the hillsides around here. Their influent load coming into this treatment plant varies drastically. It can go from the average of 250 milligrams per liter to pushing seven, eight hundred milligrams per liter when the septic trucks are dumping. And so we wanted a robust process that would be able to handle this variation in loading coming to the treatment plant. We were using two million gallons of city water at the old mechanical plant. We're using 30,000 gallons of culinary water in this plant now because we're using our process water is so clean coming out of the SBRs, we're able to use the process water in the entire plant with the exception of the administration building. We can use it for wash down water, we use it throughout the treatment plant. The old treatment plant did not have that ability, they were the highest water user in the city and with this new treatment facility we are now in line with a regular residential house with water usage at the treatment plant site. So that was a big savings. The city of Moab quickly experienced the process capabilities of the Aqua SBR soon after startup and its ability to produce exceptional effluent quality well below permit. The state gave us a year of leniency on compliance for BODTSS. Our standards are 25-25 on a monthly average and we were producing below non-detect levels in three months. So they're easily meeting their uh, discharge requirements. In addition, their phosphorus limit is two and a half milligrams per liter and, and they are far below that without adding chemical. Right now we're running at just slightly over 99 percent efficiency on the entire plant on BOD and TSS. Our TN is running between three and four. We no longer have to run acute ammonia testing our ammonia levels on our effluent are below, I've seen them as low as 0 0.14, 0 0.15. So our nitrification cycle is obviously operating very well. The Aqua SBR system provides several advantages for plant operators, including on-demand process control and ease of maintenance on retrievable components. Working here at the new plant is much more operator friendly. Uh, 
almost everything is automated. It makes it much easier to do. At the old plant, it was a fixed film plant with tricking filters. And every day you had to go out and you had to wash down all the clarifiers. You had to check the trickling filter orifices. You had to keep them maintained and cleaned. There's no more having to wash things down. And it's simple to make any type of corrections for the process as you watch it happen during the day. You can adjust your air cycles. You don't have to worry about overloading the plant. Most systems use the bolt down diffuser method for aeration. That forces them into a situation where they have to drain their tank to address their air issues. After we saw how aqua aerobics plants ran the best they could run with the removable aeration grids, aqua has made a niche in the marketplace that no one else has. I have the ability to just shut down an air grid, pull it out. Uh, we had to do that once already. That grid was back in the tank in an hour and operational at 100%. And you notice the difference right away. If you're an operator, this is the best, best deal you can get. Aqua Aerobic Systems customer service is considered a partnership from the design phase through plant startup and beyond. Throughout the, the design process and then the startup process, Every aspect from Aqua Aerobics, they have had professional people who have had a lot of experience who have helped us through the process. They've helped us on the design side and then Greg and his operations team, they've helped him through the startup. It was definitely a partnership. Aqua guaranteed us that if I needed technical support and I called a 24-7 number, I would get a technician. I've used that number and I've gotten a technician from Aqua every single time I've called. So that was key to me because this was all new to me. I sat over at a 60 year old plant for 16 years and all of a sudden I'm operating the most modern technology on the market today.